Hi guys, how you doing? Happy Easter. Um, I hope that you guys are well. Um, bear with me and I'm just trying to see if I can use um, Instagram at the same time. So yeah. Okay, so happy Easter to you guys. I hope you guys are well. Um, I am, oh hi Kelsey, sorry. Um, happy Easter, how are you? I hope you're fine. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, so yes, um, the weather outside is terrible, but I'm here to tell you or to talk to you about my book, Walk Quiet, Run Quick. Um, so there you go, Walk Quiet, Run Quick. Um, and I know that I have spoken about it previously and the lead up and so forth and um, last year when it came out in June, initially, first published in June. Um, but unfortunately for me, hi Grace, how you do? Thank you so much for joining me and Diana on um, Facebook. Uh, forgive me if I'm looking both ways. Um, I'm trying to do um, Instagram um, live and Facebook live at the same time. And um, so I'm just getting used to it. So forgive me if I um, look one way and then look another way. Um, I'm promised that I try to give you both my attention. Um, so yes, Walk Quiet, Run Quick, um, second edition. Second edition is finally here. I am so overwhelmed. I am so humbled. I am so happy. Um, the, that it's finally arrived and the journey that it took to get here. Um, so some of you may know that um, that this is the second edition. I first published Walk Quiet Run Quick last year in June, um, but unfortunately the publishing company ceased trading by November. So as you can see, that was quite a short period of time. Um, but, you know, financially oh my gosh but i didn't want to think about the financial co um, cost of it and that was simply because i knew that my book has a message it's a message about domestic abuse so you look at the cover um thanks for the heart Stalin, Di diana um you look at the cover uh, i love the cover this cover was actually designed by my daughter um, I gave her two, she gave me two options. Well, I told her, you know, how I wanted the cover to be designed and she came back. This was one of the options that she came back with um, and I fell in love with it straight away. And I say that simply because the story line talks about domestic abuse and um, it's aimed towards um, teens and uh, young adults and some of you may think well well I thought myself why am I writing a book about domestic abuse and that's simply because I haven't been um domestically abused myself um with regards to some of the oops that was just my I'd have to hold it so it just fell down um yeah I haven't been abused um you know physically myself or anything like that so how can I tell the story um but I must say that a few years ago, I um, provided emotional support to women who suffered from abuse. I initially went to talk to them about um, English because that's my background. I'm an, uh, I teach English as a second language, but I felt that these women were not in the right headspace um, to be taught um, and they, they needed something more than that. They needed emotional support. So that's what I provided for them at the time. Um, so I wrote Walk Quiet, Run Quick to be the voice of the voiceless. Um, so the storyline is, the storyline is fictional, but the topic is real. And I've had such a great feedback from writing the book. Um, and I just want to say thank you for those ladies who shared with me their stories. Um, oh, thank you very much, um, Cowan, Cowan, sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly on Instagram. Thank you so much um, for joining me. Um, the storyline, a young lady came to me and wanted to tell me her story. She told me that um, when she was in school, 15, 16, that she was being abused by her boyfriend, um, but the school wasn't doing anything about it. Um, she wanted to talk to me maybe for me to give her some ideas, I'm not quite sure, or, you know, um, just because she wanted to, to create a charity for young people. 
um, where they didn't want to report it to the police or the school wasn't doing anything, doing anything about it. And I was, you know, happy to support her in any way that I can, that I could. Um, but I wrote my story based on those women who I supported a few years ago um, because they needed someone to talk to. Um, they wanted their stories to be told, but someone to listen to them. And I took their messages and I put it in a book. And I wanted to show that domestic abuse doesn't just happen to um, you know, the stereotypical, hi Maureen, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining me. Um, you know, the, the young lady or the young person on the um, council estate or um, unemployed and not working or, or anything like that. My story um, tells, talks about the character um, Val. She's middle class. She's an entrepreneur. Um, hi Sandra, thanks for joining me. She's an entrepreneur. She owns her own business and never in a million years um, did she think that she would be in a situation where she was being um, abused physically. Um, but it's more than that. Hi G, how you doing? Thank you so much for joining me on Insta. Um, um, this is the first time, I think the second time that I've done it on Instagram. So um, bear with me if I'm looking here and I'm looking there. Um, so yeah. Um, yes. What was I saying? Uh, yes, this is um, about a middle class woman who is an entrepreneur. She has her own business um, and she's very successful. So to think that um, she was going to work, you know, in her own company as well, and as well as working freelance, but she was coming home and being abused by her partner. Um, so I just wanted to show that abuse does not discriminate. Um, and that there is more to um, domestic abuse than just being um, physical. Um, so I'm so excited when I've written this book, I've just come off an interview with a young lady who wants me to talk about my book, um, you know, um, with her um, other, in a group um, setting, I think it is, um, at a workshop. So I'm quite excited about that. Um, but my hope for the book is to create awareness and especially with our young teens and our young adults. Um, I guess a lot of um, young people, you know, they think that they know it all or maybe the fact that they don't even know that they are being abused. And my hope is that when they read the book that they might think that's, you know, oh, that's what's happening to me um, and question their relationship. Um, the book is to create awareness. Um, Walk Quiet, Run Quick is to educate um, so I'm hoping that with the storyline, um, it will be able to, um, educate young people, um, about their relationships. And also for us mothers out there, um, who have teenagers or young adults, and if you, 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 your part, your child has a partner and, you know, you don't know how to broach the conversation as to whether you're, you know, whether they're in a healthy relationship or not then buy a copy of the book you read the book your your child your young team will read the book and then you come together and have an, an open conversation well you know what did you think about that character what did you think um Val um the protagonist could have done and what are your thoughts on the um her partner and, and what he's doing to her and you know you know what would you do if that was happening in, in your relationship have this open conversation and that's what I want I'm hoping um hoping I want any teachers out there that um I think this would be fantastic in um a PSHE class uh, hi Angie thanks for joining me in a PSHE class I think it's brilliant to talk about as a topic of conversation um um girls and and, and boys um, talking about their relationships openly and what would they do if they were in certain um, situations um, based in, on, you know, on the storyline. Um, I will be coming back in, in, you know, in the next few weeks and talking about the different storylines and the different types of abuse. But um, ideally, I don't know if any of you guys have um, watched that program, um, Murdered by My Boyfriend. I'm not quite sure whether you guys have seen it or not. Um, but I would love for this book to be um, 
like a drama or a, sh a short drama um, just to highlight that the different elements of domestic abuse and that domestic abuse doesn't discriminate and that you know the storyline is of a, um, a middle class woman um, you know who lives in you know the posh part of West London um, just to give us something different and not the stereotypical um, storyline do you know what I mean of council estates and unemployed and, and things like that but yeah I mean I'm not going to ramble on but um, what I'd love you to do for those who are watching if you can share um, it's available um, on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, um, Waterstones and quite a few other outlets as well and you can also download it on your um, Kindle and um, so not really any excuse not to have it really um, but just to support um the the, the storyline i know that um theresa may um has invested more money um into um domestic abuse um but you know things need to happen you know pa as parents as well we need to don't just leave it to the schools i mean i'm an ex um, teacher you know but don't just leave it to the schools um we need to try to educate our children ourselves and teach them how to have healthy relationships um you know maybe your relationship you know growing up you didn't see that or you were a single parent so maybe they're not even sure what a healthy relationship is meant to look like so by reading the book um you can at least have that open conversation as to um what healthy relationships are like um so yeah so in the forthcoming weeks um i i will be talking to you about walk quiet run quick and um, the storylines. And I hope um, that you'll be able to support me on this particular um, subject matter. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna ramble on too much because I, I can get a bit carried away, but you know, I guess when you're so passionate about something and you just want to share it and educate or, and create awareness, um, you do become quite passionate about something, about these things. Um, especially when you have your, you know, your children and you don't want anything like that to happen to them. But, you know, if you're, you know, if you've got the tools, um, you know, all the information, then, you know, um, then it's, you know, it, it shouldn't be so difficult to, to talk about. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's been a journey, um, you know, but it's finally here and I'm just so happy. Um, so I'm going to be going on to Facebook and all the other, um, social media platforms and you're going to get so tired of seeing me but I want this to be to go global I would like this to be um, interpreted in several different languages um, several different languages so everyone will have the benefit of um, learning or creating awareness about um, um, unhealthy relationships and what to look out for um, so yeah just arm yourself with the book um, available on Amazon, Waterstones, Barnes and Nobles, no excuse, can download it on Kindle. And um, yeah, thank you. Um, enjoy the rest of your um, bank holiday. And um, yeah, I will speak to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.